Welcome to another Cream Rises Up Bite Size episode. In order to eliminate the reliance on fossil fuels, many mega companies and governments are turning their attention to cleaner and sustainable solutions. Toyota is amongst the companies that invest tons of money in the research and development of green technologies. The Japanese giant is hedging its bets on hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, to take it to the next frontier on energy efficiency and carbon neutrality. Add to that, Japan is also amongst the nations that aggressively promote green technologies and plan to reach net zero emissions by 2050, emphasizing hydrogen as a key technology in the effort. This of course helps Toyota's cause massively since the company is based in Japan. Toyota's inclination toward hydrogen received a massive boost when the Japanese government pledged to increase the current number of fueling stations from 150 to 1,000 while also boosting the domestic supply of hydrogen to as much as 3 million tons by 2030, with the goal of expanding this to 20 million tons by 2050. The government plan includes the aim of having electrified vehicles, a broad category that encompasses any car propelled by an electric motor, hybrids included, account for all new auto sales by 2035. In 2014, Toyota grabbed headlines with the launch of the Mirai one of the first hydrogen-based vehicles to be commercially available. However, the company has struggled to carve out a niche for this model, selling only 17,940 units as of December 2021. The Mirai's hefty price tag has majorly contributed to its lackluster sell numbers. Other factors for the slow propagation of the Toyota Mirai include an insufficient number of hydrogen fueling stands in most countries and low production volume. However, Toyota addressed some of these issues when it released the second generation of the Mirai in December 20. 2020. The redesign of the hydrogen fuel cell to have fewer principal components and tweaking other aspects of the Mirai enabled the Japanese company to cut production costs by two-thirds and boost manufacturing capacity to 30,000 units a year. Toyota is also exploring other applications which can tap into hydrogen as an energy source. In May 2021, the company entered a hydrogen engine-equipped Corolla in the Fuji Supertech 24 hours race. The three-cylinder vehicle was fueled with hydrogen produced from renewable sources. What makes a hydrogen-based engine very appealing is it doesn't rely on chemical reactions like a fuel cell, it rather works the same as a traditional combustion engine by burning hydrogen instead of gasoline. However, there are some niggling issues that have to be ironed out before Toyota can make a commercial model available, including boosting power output and designing components to withstand the high temperatures of hydrogen combustion. Electric vehicles are gaining momentum, accelerated by highly ambitious environmental policies of governments like the European Union, which proposes to ban sales of new gasoline and diesel-powered cars by 2035. Toyota, which is already successful at making hybrid vehicles, is leveraging from its maturing technologies centered around hydrogen. Add to that, the Japanese government's strong leaning towards supporting green technologies provided a tantalizing prospect for Toyota to aggressively pursue its effort of mass-producing hydrogen-based vehicles and become the dominant force in this sector.